Hello, I'm Jane Alalibo and I'm your civic education teacher. The topic we'll be taking in civic education today is citizenship. What is citizenship? Citizenship is about being a member of a particular country and it involves playing an active role in that society. Every country has their different policies on how to make people citizens of the country. Now we're going to look at a basic definition of citizenship. We say citizenship is the status of being a member of a country with full constitutional rights and responsibilities, which brings us to who a citizen is. A citizen is simply a member of a country who has constitutional rights and responsibilities. So citizenship is a status of being a member of a country while a citizen is the individual himself who is a legal member of a particular country. And since that individual is a citizen, he or she is entitled to rights and also has responsibilities which he or she is to fulfill or give to their country. Now we're going to look at how to become a citizen of Nigeria. Remember we said every country has a different policy on how people become citizens but we'll be looking at the policies which Nigeria uses to make people citizens. The first way through which a person can become a citizen of Nigeria is by birth. The second by naturalization, third by registration and by confirmation. We will be looking at these different ways individually. So now let's look at birth. We say a person can become a citizen of Nigeria if the mother or father or even both parents are from Nigeria, irrespective of where the person lives or was born. That is, someone may have been born in America, but if the person's mother or father happens to be a Nigerian, then the person is automatically a citizen of Nigeria. Another way through which a person can become a citizen of Nigeria is by naturalization. This is simply the process by which a foreign person is made a citizen of Nigeria. But before a person can become a citizen of Nigeria by naturalization, there are certain criteria which the person must meet. Some of those criteria are outlined here on the board. The first being he or she must have lived in Nigeria for up to 15 years. The person must have stayed in Nigeria for not less than 15 years. And the second criteria, he or she must be above 18 years old. The person must be an adult and must have been able to make the decision by him or herself to become a citizen of Nigeria. The third criteria we have here is that he or she must take an oath of allegiance. This is an oath of loyalty and this must be taken in court. The fourth criteria is that the person must be of good character. The person shouldn't be, shouldn't be an ex-convict or someone who is known to cause disorder in society. The person shouldn't be a criminal, rather the person must be of good character and of positive reputation. And the fifth criteria we have here is that he or she must be capable of contributing towards the advancement of the country. This is simple. It means that the person was able to work, join the Nigerian workforce. The person should be able to set up businesses and do other positive things that can affect the lives of other people around in the society. And also, those things the person does should be able to advance the country or develop the country and move the country forward. The third means through which a person can become a citizen of Nigeria is by registration. Now, there are certain people who have to register before they can become citizens. It's not for everybody. Remember, by birth, those who, whose parents are Nigerians, either of their parents are Nigerians, can become citizens automatically. But there are those who have to register first before they can be considered as citizens of Nigeria. The first category of those kind of people are foreign children adopted by Nigerian parents. If a Nigerian man and woman who are married want to, mar want to adopt an American child or a Chinese baby, then they have to bring the child and register him or her as a citizen of Nigeria. The second category of people who have to register to become citizens 
uh, foreign women married to Nigerian men. Maybe a Nigerian man gets married to an American woman. She has to come and register before she can become a citizen. And the third category are those who are above 18 years, who is not a Nigerian, but has a grandparent or great-grandparent who happens to be a Nigerian. The person can still come to Nigeria and register as far as he or she is above 18 years. And the fourth means through which a person can become a citizen of Nigeria is by confirmment. Confirmment is simply bestowing something upon someone or granting something to someone as a way of honoring the person or appreciating the person for the things the person has done. So applying it to citizenship, citizenship can be granted to a foreign person who has done good things or remarkable things in a particular country. For example, an American man comes to Nigeria and gets to do things like building of roads, building of hospitals, building of schools and other things that can better the lives of other Nigerians and the country as a whole. This person can now be granted citizenship by the government as a way of appreciating or honoring the person for the remarkable things he or she has done. Having known who a citizen is, what citizenship is and how to become a citizen, we are going to do a brief recap of all we have learned. First, we said citizenship is the status of being a member of a country with full constitutional rights. Remember, once a person is a citizen, you are now entitled to all the rights which are embedded in the constitution. And also, you don't get just those rights alone. You are also accountable to certain duties and responsibilities of a Nigerian in the country. We said there are four major ways through which a person can become a citizen of Nigeria. First, by birth. Second, by registration. Third, by naturalization. And fourth, by confinement. I hope you know who a citizen is now and what it takes to actually become a citizen. Now we're going to do a brief test to see how far and how much we have learned on the lesson today. First question, which of the following best describes a citizen? Option A, a visitor in a country. B, a noble member of a country. And C, a legal member of a country. Pick your answer. Did you say C? Yes, that's right. The correct answer is C, a legal member of a country. We said a citizen is a legal member of a country who has full constitutional rights and responsibilities. And the second and last question, DASH is the status of being a member of a country with full constitutional rights and responsibilities. Option A, citizenship. B, citizen. C. Membership. Did you say C? No, that's very wrong. Or B? That's wrong too. Are you wondering why I said B is wrong? Remember we said a citizen is an individual who is a member of a particular country. While citizenship is the status of being a member of a country with full constitutional rights and responsibilities. A is the correct answer. This brings us to the end of our lesson on citizenship. I hope you know who a citizen is and in what country you happen to be a citizen. Thank you. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, drop a comment, and subscribe to our channel. You can also turn on notifications to stay updated on new videos on this channel. This brain friend video was brought to you by Sinforest. For more of these amazing e-learning videos, get your copy of Brain Friend. With more than a thousand e-learning videos, over 74,000 test items in more than 40 subjects, a career counseling guide, and many other amazing features, Brain Friend remains your foremost e-learning and exam preparatory software. Brain Friend. Learn better. Make excellent grades.